Photos has a lot of nifty little features added into the app. But one feature that I think is often overlooked is the stabilization feature that you can add to certain videos. So if you go down, um, if you take a video, you can go down to um, the settings, we can add, you know, whatever you need. You can trim it or whatever. But there's also a stabilization option. So basically what it does is it adds electronic image stabilization to your footage. So what it will probably do is, is it crops in and then it tries to remove some of that shakiness. So I thought, okay, how good is this really? Is Can you notice a difference? Um, does the difference uh, make the other video, the stabilized one, look significantly worse than the original? So that's what we're going to find out. This intro video was purposely filmed like this just so that I could add the stabilization later to see, you know, how good is it really? Here's a demonstration of how it works. So you open up the app, you tap on the video, and you hit the little settings icon down below. And then you tap on that little stabilization icon. Tap on that and then it stabilizes. It gives you a progress bar. And then once that progress bar has finished, then it outputs a different stabilized video that you can either save or if you view it and you don't want it, you don't have to save it. Here's a shaky video that I filmed with a camera that does not have optical image stabilization. This is with the front facing camera on the Pixel 3a and it's pretty shaky. Now here is the exact same video, but stabilized through Google Photos. As you can see, it is so much smoother and it looks almost as if you have OIS. Finally, here are the two videos side by side. And looking at them this way, you can tell that something is being done here and it looks so much better. This is another example of a shaky video. I was riding a bike when filming this, so it appears much more shaky than if you were just walking or pointing the camera somewhere. Here again, this is the same video, except stabilized in the Google Photos app. Um, it still is a little shaky, but that's to be expected. Here again are the two videos side by side and looking at the right video that is stabilized you can see that there certainly was some things done that made it smoother but it's not perfect. Finally this last sample is actually the intro video. So here's the original intro video that you guys saw earlier. It's a little shaky but it's not terrible. Now with the stabilized version this honestly looks so much worse. It looks like kind of a jelly effect. Everything is moving back and forth, the background, my face. So this is an example of it not working correctly. In conclusion, it works well with some types of videos. With others, it might not work as well. If you're using it kind of like for a vlogging thing, probably not. But if you're using it to film something like oh, you're on a boat and you're filming someone water skiing, or if you're riding by on a bike or something. This actually could make it look much better. It just depends on the video, so check it out for yourself. See if it works. I just thought it would be interesting to see if it works, and it certainly does for some types of videos. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Tea Time. It's that time of the day again, where you just look off into the sunset and wonder, what if? You know, why am I here?